Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of London here in England and I'm visiting my home away from home. That's right, I'm back at the British Museum. In this particular video we're going to visit the New China exhibit that opened up just a couple of months ago. We're going to view the most important displays at this absolutely wonderful museum, one of the best museums in the world. This is Vic. Let's go for a walk. Let's do it. And uh, here's a very quick view of the wing of the British Museum where the China exhibit is housed at. The China exhibit and the India exhibit are on the same wing of the British Museum. The India exhibit is right behind me. We're going to start our tour from this beautiful wall right here. And we're going to visit the most important exhibits. You can see it's a very, very busy place, so forgive the noise. There's nothing I can do about it but we're going to have a great time and we're going to learn quite a bit nevertheless. Let's start our tour right here. Okay, let's uh, start our tour of the beautiful New China exhibit here at the British Museum by looking at, at a wall of beautiful glazed porcelain tiles that once decorated the walls of a Buddhist temple. These tiles were created around 1480 during the Ming Dynasty, M-I-N-G. They consist of beautiful tiles of dragons and lotus flowers, as you can see right there. On both sides of the wall, we find beautiful incense burners with figures of cranes that you can see here representing immortality and deer. You see one right there on the lid representing long life. Here is a view of this beautiful wall and the incense burners right in the beginning of the exhibit. And here is a very large incense burner created around 1750 AD. Now it's got dragons here on its side which means that it was part of a an imperial temple at one time. You can see the dragon right there. And uh, here is a beautifully glazed porcelain statue of a judge to hell from around 1550 AD. At one time it stood by the entrance of a temple. And here you can see him holding a scroll with all the names of the people that have performed bad deeds. Let's go a little closer and capture his expression right there. And uh, next to that statue we find another one created at the same time around 1550 AD and this is the assistant to the judge of hell. Beautifully glazed and colorful porcelain statue. And here is a beautiful porcelain jar and lid from around 1450 AD. Beautifully colored and glazed. And here we can see the figure of a dragon up close. Yeah. 
and uh, here's the head, the bronze head of a Buddhist guardian figure created around 1300 AD and most likely stood by the entrance of the temple. You can see his expression right there. Most likely this bronze figure was part of a statue over two meters in height. And uh, here is one of the most beautiful statues in the exhibit. This is of a Buddhist monk from around 1150 AD. It's a porcelain glazed statue. Let's get a close-up view so you can see how beautiful it is and let's check out the expression of the monk right there. And uh, here's a beautiful wooden statue of a Bodhisattva. This one was created around 1150. A Bodhisattva is a human that attains enlightenment but remains in earth in order to help others. When it was first created, it was beautifully painted. There are hints of the paint on the statue. Here's a close-up view. And next to it, we find a wooden statue from the same time period, 1150 AD, of a female bodhisattva. You can see her dress here. And you can see hints of the beautiful coloring that once was decorated in this beautiful statue. And uh, here's a beautiful sandstone statue of a bodhisattva. We saw two wooden ones, but here's a sandstone statue. This is a female bodhisattva, created around 550 AD. And at one time it was decorated in the entrance of a temple. When it was created, her dress was covered in gold leaf and the rest was beautifully painted. The paint has disappeared as well as the gold, but it's a beautiful statue nevertheless. Right there. And uh, here's, without a doubt, the most beautiful exhibit in this part of the China exhibit at the British Museum and this is a funeral or tomb procession of a high-ranking official of the Tang, T-A-N-G, dynasty. Now the higher the ranking of the official, the more statues would appear in the tomb or in the funeral procession. It is very difficult to videotape the statues and that's because they're enclosed in a glass case as you can see. Let's go through so you can get an idea of what's represented here. You can see different individuals, horses and camels here at the end. And this, without a doubt, is one of the most popular exhibits. Let's get a view of the statues from the rear right here. And uh, here is a bronze statue of Zennu, the god of war, Z-H-E-N-W-U. You can see here on his breast, he's got a breast plate with figures of dragons. And uh, here you see two vases and two porcelain bowls 
from around 1400 AD. And uh, here's another collection of plates, vases and bowls from around 1400 as well. Here's a beautiful porcelain glazed dish from the end of the 16th century. And this one is huge. Its diameter exceeds 60 centimeters and it's in perfect condition as you can see. And uh, here's a beautiful black tray from around 1500 AD showing scenes of the elegant life of its owners. And uh, here's a beautiful watch tower created around 50 AD and most likely it was included in the tomb of a very wealthy individual. And uh, here we see two bronze vases. They're about 60 centimeters in height. They were created around 4 AD BC before Christ and they commemorate the meetings of two kings of competing states in ancient China. They are absolutely beautiful and priceless. And uh, here is a military ceremonial costume from around 17 AD after Christ. It is hard to videotape it and that's because it's enclosed in a glass case as you can see and the light is reflected all over the glass. But we can get good views from this angle as well. So if you thought you had seen priceless items in this video, well, pause for a second and look at these. These are items taken from the palaces of the Forbidden City in Beijing. Look at them, they're in perfect shape and they're absolutely priceless. This is cabinet number one. And uh, cabinet number two. Incredible. Priceless. And uh, here's a beautiful and remarkable wooden table used at the altar of a Buddhist temple around the first century after Christ. What a rare item to see in a museum indeed. Wow, what an absolutely wonderful exhibit that was here at the British Museum. If you liked what you saw, please do not forget to subscribe. This is Vic, all the way from London. Thank you for viewing my videos. Bye-bye.